Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tsuki and this is the Swanky Space Pad. In oxygen not included. Okay, we set a bit of a perimeter last time. And uh, worked on opening this up to vent heat towards the outside. Uh, because this is a this is a template I use frequently, but in one of my recent like solo off world or offline plays, um, this overheated really quickly. And everything just started breaking. So the solution that I had was to effectively open this chamber up to the outside world. And you'll see like temperatures have already immediately dropped a lot. Like this thing is under 40. Which is ideally what you want. You don't want the things to be damaged by overuse. But I will have to eventually make a plan and get a smart battery in here. Smart battery is just going to automate things a little bit. But before we can even get that, we need to get refined metal. And refined metal is going to be a bit of an issue. So we have some chlorine. Oh, and we have a duplicate right here. Oh, thimble seeds. Pufflet. I can't remember what the pufflet is. Still waiting for a chef. Hmm. How's the skills look? Wanna get everybody this exosuit training. Hmm. Oh, so you are the operator. That's good. I mean, everybody can... Okay. Okay. Everybody can grab it already, it seems. Wow, you've got such good morale. I like it. You can already get access to training. Though I don't... I'm not sure how much this fluctuates, so I'm just going to push it up to get you all to that second rank. Mm, you will need to go here anyway. Okay, Nicola is digging. I wouldn't mind getting a second digger. Also, what's fun is research skill. Um, wait, where is the dupe? Mm, yippee. Okay, so skills. Legion Beast, let's look at him. He has a science skill of 15. You'll see at the bottom there, he has 150% skill leveling. So... If we have new dupes, it, it wouldn't hurt like giving them some research skill first before making them do what the hell ever. But today's goal is let's improve this freaking place. Um, oh good, we have automation now, finally. Um, but for most of the automation stuff we need refined metals. Which we don't have yet. Incubator? Oh, incubator also needs refined metals. I did not know that. I used to stress about a lot of things. For example, um, this this next thing that I'm gonna have him researching the metal tile plus the the smelting thing. Um, this thing, metal refinery, puts out a lot of freaking heat. But there's literally nothing that says you have to use that heat, you know? There's no no considerable rule. I'm actually going to just turn this on. Having some oxygen nearby will be really useful. And we have more than enough algae. And there's still tons of algae all over the freaking place and we will be getting more algae. So, actually, yeah, let's just break into this new biome and get some more freaking algae then. Oh, and there's the salt biome that I was talking about. The sea salt. Salt water and salt. Oh, no, it's downtime again. Eventually, I'm going to change the layout of this a little bit. So that they kind of have to come by here. And then get into an atmosphere suit before they can leave the base. 
Aww. Adorable little shitbags. He's so cute. God damn it. Danny Baby. How's your happiness? What's so far? Groomed and tame. Reproduction is up. Oh, you're a very old man. He's happy. Really? Again? What's the temperatures like down here? Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Understood. Understandable. Very understandable. Maybe not go directly through that next time. I want to get to this metal and at this algae. And phosphor won't hurt. Phosphorite. You don't want to come down here, dude. I'm actually gonna maybe just put in like... But then they can just climb down. Oh. Remove it. This is what I want to... Yeah, that exact thing that just happened is what I want to stop from happening. And that can be done by locking this door and then setting the access control to this bottom one. Off by default and then giving everybody permission to only leave. So they can't actually go left. They can only exit. Good. Just to control the the crazy damages that <laughs> they do to themselves. Because there's a lot of freaking temperature being over a hundred but freaking degrees, dude. It's crazy. Good thing, like, ladders don't have overheat temperatures. Oh, hey. We finished. Yes, the metal refinery. So, this is, like, the next interesting part of the conversation. The metal refinery, where? What's that sound? And our water is running low, which also stresses me out. I mean, there's plenty of sources, but to get into slime biomes, you need proper access routes. You don't just want to run in there and go, hey, you know, because of slime lung. Even though slime lung isn't that significant anymore, it used to be like slime lung kills you. Um, but that's not the case anymore. Uh... And there's nice water here, but this water's way too hot. I mean, I could set up the refinery, like, in here. That would be hilarious, actually. And it would be very helpful if we could get, like... Oof, but that's... It uses... Mm. Nah, okay, that's fine. I would like to be able to have the heat or the, the chlorine just fall below. 
But yeah, um, because this water is already so freaking hot. I was thinking of let's set up like a metal refinery like right here. And then literally, oh, but yeah, it's far from the power. That's not ideal. Mm. So back to that age old question. At most, I'd like to have it like somewhere here. Oh, because it's going to be difficult to get the electricity all the freaking way over here. That's not entirely something I considered. Otherwise, I could make a, a coal generator and like a jumbo battery or two on this side, basically just to feed the the smelter. But then the question remains still, where are we going to get the liquid? People can't really go too far out of the base. Hmm. Oh, down, down. Oops. I want to go down this tunnel and see maybe there's some liquid at the bottom. Unlikely, but there. Uh. Otherwise, I could just... But now then we have to build a ladder and that opens up this corner and the scalding heat. And, ugh. Otherwise... We could just, like, build mesh tiles three high and basically cordon off that side until we have Atmos suits. Once we have Atmo suits, then the, they are impervious to environmental conditions. Let's see if we can... Sedimentary rock is nice. Paco. Excuse me? Stop being noisy, you noisy bitch. Hey. Water seeds. Water weed seed. But to do this, we'll have to, like, finagle it. I don't know. And then maybe we can pump the water over to this side. But to do that, we'll have to get a little small, little clean room basically set up. Where we can handle the, the fall off from all the freaking clay and slime. So what I mean by that is we set up something like this. Mm, but you don't want too many openings. So perhaps set up something like this. Uh, with a... It doesn't have to be too tall. Like three is fine. Set that up. Get a door, set like two containers in there with a wash basin for when you leave. I know I, I said I wanted to set that up, but we need, it's too, or the, the, the lavatory system, but there is too many freaking things to do right now. So let's set this up, get a door, and then we need one of these guys up here.
So basically, once you dug out slime, the slime kind of just spits out polluted oxygen the whole time. And if we store it in this container that's kind of mostly filled with chlorine, um, it's going to kill off whatever like slime lung is in there, hopefully. And uh, while at the same time, whatever polluted oxygen drifts up will be ca caught by this uh, deodorizer. Wheeze wards. Those are going to be very, very important. I could pop a few wheeze wards in here to just cool down things. Or cool things down. But ideally, I'm going to pop them in here. It doesn't look like it's getting hot, but it will get hot eventually. And I'd rather just ca catch that before that even happens. Our food stays pretty stable so far. Okay, so... Let's see, uh, plumbing, plumbing. The lavatory is like so. So, if we look at plumbing, I don't care which of those. Uh, essentially, it's going to be input valve like that. There might be an extra floor coming in here. I don't know yet. Probably. I'm, I, I'd like another two dupes. So, yeah, sure, let's just build that up like that. And then this can come down in here. This goes out here. And then this just goes straight back to here. Because this side is exactly the same. Seems right. I'm just not going to connect that just yet. Because I want a, a little bit of a buffer to build up first. I assume they're going to dig that out anyway. Oh, well, downtime. Okay, so we don't have slime yet, organic. Oh, no, we do. Slime. And I think that's it. Just the slime. Yeah. Does this... No, this is still waiting for... What, what happened? No one knows. We'll have some space for setting up additional factories over here. For example, um, this kiln will be nice. We'll also have like the, the rock crusher. Do I have that yet? Refinement. Oh, there's refinement. Mm, let's research that then. Uh, oh, I still need the batteries. Where's the rock crusher? I do have it already, don't I? Yes, the rock crusher. I do have it. Let's get the smart battery when he wakes up. Now, where is the rock crusher then? It's not on the refinement. Oh, it is. Okay. We'll get that set up. Oh, is that just because the freaking plant is in the way? That's stupid. What? Oh, look at him! He matured! Oh, God! 
His teeth aren't as ugly. But now his weird open mouth just looks silly. Oh, we also need to get power in here. What is the current load of you? Potential load? Yeah, you have more than enough space. Also, fun fact, lights, when people are like under or inside of light, they can, they do things faster. Uh, light. It, a boost to morale and productivity. So there's uh, some buildings that I am going to try and shine a light on. Do these actually... No, these don't need to be on the ceiling. Interesting. Because this is some of the first automation things that I'm going to start doing. Once I get refined metal, of course. Oh, water. Water, water, water. Steam. Jeez. I should have insulated this. Because this thing is just bumping out non-stop heat. Like, look at the temperature of this water. It's crazy. Why is this still unbuilt? Come on, you MFers. Get working. How much metal do I have? I should have some enough metal. Okay, so there we have our first little piece of slime sitting somewhere over there. have a chef oh that right there is enough reason to make more rooms up here okay so we have a smart battery now still can't really do anything with it because we need refined metals oh, it would be nice to get an apothecary did I even look did I even spend like half a second of time to check. Otto. Is that your name? Otto. You're a chef, and I only know one chef. Where is Otto? Otto. I wish there was a duplicate overlay. That's just speed. Otto. There you are, Otto. Otto, your name is not Patrice. You're our chef. Congratulations. So, Otto, I didn't even look. That's okay. You don't do digs. That's all right. Okay, as long... I made a big mistake and I picked, like, a duplicate that had flatulence in one of my playthroughs. And then he filled the entire base with natural gas. Methane. Hmm. You're slow. So, what is your athletic skill? Athletics. We're pretty low. Okay. Now the nice thing about this is even though there's like slime lung in there now. Oh yeah, this is only left. Um, this is now like an unofficial source of oxygen for us. Because as this spits out like polluted oxygen, it gets purified into normal oxygen, which we can breathe. And slime lung doesn't survive very long in oxygen. There's a lot of chlorine here. I'd love to get this chlorine out of there.
Jeez, uh, look how hot is it, how hot it is in here. You can kind of see the little red spots. How many are you now? Seven out of eight. <laughs> okay, so moving on. We have plenty of food. However, I would like to cl close up this part. Okay. Um, let's get the... Why is there polluted oxygen in here? What could be causing that? Oh! Polluted dirt. What caused that? Interesting. Anyway, um, so let's just keep building up. And then we might as well Not get to it. Uh, build like a whole friggin' ladder system because they're gonna have to get to that roof. can get one more duplicate. So much copper. I love it. Don't mind copper at all. I have to get to this. Where is it? Yeah. That iron ore. I think it's about time these ones that we just okay let's move over from me lice to more bristle ball bristle bluffum Sorry, Petresco, I guess you'll just have to sleep on the floor. What happened to you? These guys are going to be a source of, like, eggs for us as well. Jessica, you'll have a room soon. Oh, 
Not storage space. Oh, we still have plenty of storage space. Okay, I know this has gone on for 30 minutes already, but I want to finish the toilets today. Uh. Or do I? I actually don't know. It's difficult. Nice chill tunes. How many briar seeds do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can just pop down. Oh, jukebox. Well, but I could just at least you have a bed now. Uh, what's your priorities? Cooking is the the highest. I almost said the tallest. To, there's like a block and a half of water left. I don't want to use hot water. don't count okay I'm gonna put in like mirth leaves mirth leaves okay we're gonna we're, we're slowly getting ready for industry the problem is just the power being so freaking far away How's the heat looking in here? Ah, oh, good. It's just these uh, heavy watt wires are expensive to build. There's like a hundred... I can build 243 of them, but that doesn't mean I should. You know? I feel kind of silly for setting this whole thing up now, because it's vastly less significant right now. That, this is how I used to do things, but then I found out, hey, you can just cycle the same amount of water over and over and over and over and over and over. Uh, there's no... I guess we can get away with it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I hate doing it, but I'm gonna make a little hack next time I'm gonna put put in like a little double whammy system here and build a pump and just get this water into our system hmm 
So, yeah, until next time, guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate more if you would tap that sub button, but thank you for hanging out with me today, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.